det som står i et naturprogram, der er meget Har du bejdet mig? Nej, nej. Jeg kan vælge DSMX og DSM2. Så har du også stået på nettet. Horizon. Hvad er det for en? T28. Hvad hedder det? Ja, det er sejt at være sikker. Jeg tror. Nu ser jeg, at du står her. Manuals and support. Og hvad, du kører et modul i den der, ikke også? Jo. Hi guys, this is the plane you just saw me flying. Uh, it's partly my own design. It weighs 55 grams in this configuration and measures uh, 80 centimeters in wingspan and 65 centimeters in length. The wing I borrowed from another water model and also borrowed the tail design. And the model I'm talking about is the one I have behind me, this one. It's um, at least 15 years old, and it was quite popular 15 years old uh, in the model that I, in the club that I fly in. And um, I don't know who the author is, but it's pretty cool. I've um, I made this really light, um, as light as I could. And um, I actually bought the lightest motor that I could get my hands on, which is uh, this, the Racer Star 0603. But with this, this plane cannot fly. You can see that the prop barely clears uh, the, 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 the front of the plane. And besides, I, I don't know if it, it just doesn't work. Um, but I said to myself, all right, chance accepted. I will make this fly with the 0603, but I will be allowed to change the fuselage. I have to keep the wing, keep the tail, keep the fuselage length, and also keep the position of the elements, um, but just um, make it as light as possible. But before I get to the 0603, I'll continue with the 1103, um, just to increase the likelihood of success. So um, in my first iteration, I'll be working on the 1103, and then in my second iteration, then I'll go to the 0603. But uh, let's uh, let's have a look at the at the first version using the 1103 and put it on the bench and go over the details. First up, the wing. The wing is built from four sections of Deepron. Uh, weighs 17 grams and um, it's a great wing. This one definitely seen some airtime and uh, has some uh, some battle scars here and there, but it's um, still holding up, still doing its thing. Moving on to the plane itself. The first thing we notice is the fuselage has been reduced to practically nothing. It is just a carbon fiber rod, 3 by 3 millimeter. It's hollow and weighs 5.2 grams. So to be able to attach the other things to it, I've designed these um, and 3D printed these uh, 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 mounts that uh, just slide on to, uh, to the, uh, the fuselage. They're, they're not glued, it's just a snug fit, so that I, just, I can just um, move, them, move them around with a bit of force. Um, the tail, I've mounted both uh, in the front of the tail and in the back of the tail. Um, and the back piece here also has a small wheel. I'm also using carbon fiber rods as push rods. They're really, really light, one millimeter solid. Uh, but because they're so light, they're also flexible. And um, so I just, I'm just guiding them here in this um, mount that goes on the trailing edge of the wing. Um, the CG is a bit tricky on this one because it was never the intention to put so light electronics onto this uh, plane. The combined weight of the electronics is about half of the original motor size. So it's quite clear that it's, it's a challenge to, to get the CG right, so that's why everything has just been moved 
to uh, move to the front here. Um, so I haven't found a clever way yet to, uh, to mount the ESC and the RX. I've just taped them individually and then taped them together. And then I just tape them to the fuselage. So that's uh, something I have to, uh, to find a, uh, a better solution for. Um, so yeah, it's really, really simple. Really simple setup. But let's go over the electronics and have a look at those uh, while they're not taped up and all uh, crammed up. First, the battery. This one is from Hobby King, Turnity brand, 200 milliamp hours. Um, I've tried the 150 milliamp hour version. It weighs four and a half grams. This one weighs six, but it just the EC just cuts off. I cannot give full throttle, uh, and this one I can give full throttle. So, and I want to be able to, to do that. So this is the lightest that I'm I'm willing to to go in terms of uh, in terms of batteries, and this is uh, yeah this is six grams. Then the ESC, this is so cool, 0 0.35 grams. It is just tiny. It is one cell capable, three amp max. And um, I got this in the bare bone version. You can buy them also with some uh, connectors uh, uh, already sorted here, but I just wanted to have it as lightweight as possible. But this is awesome, you see. Then we have the RX. It weighs just short of a gram, yep. It's a free sky compatible. It's not a genuine free sky product, but I um, I really like it for a couple of reasons. One, it weighs less than a gram. Two, it has PVM outputs, and many of the tiny receivers today are SBUS receivers. You can easily find several tiny SBUS receivers, but when it comes to PVM, uh, the selection is is not as big. The last thing, we can run this on one cell. So this is a great match for 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 this build. Then we um, then we move on to the servos. I'm using the 5320 from Hobby King because these are the lightest one I could find. They're advertised at 1.7 grams, but the reality is a bit higher because 1.7 is without wire and connector. Um, I also added here the servo arm already, so we're about uh, yeah just short of four grams for servos. Then we come to the motor. 3.64 and this is the Racer Star 1103 and it's an awesome motor. It's intended for quadcopters. So uh, just running at one cell, I mean it's just a walk in the park for, for a motor like this. Um, it features a 1.5 millimeter prop shaft and I've really been trying to do my research and find the biggest prop that I could possibly fit on the 1.5 millimeter shaft and also the one with the highest pitch. And uh, this is uh, what I came up with. This is the iFlight Nascule T4030. So it's a four inch prop, 10 centimeters, and has a really aggressive pitch, really, really aggressive. Uh, moves a lot of air per uh, revolution. And since we're only using one cell, I, I figured it would be important to move as much air we possibly could each time we, we, uh, we do a turn. Because these ones, the more it's intended to be run at uh, 3S uh, in, in, in quad traptors with, of course, you know, different props. Um, but it's, I think the motor and prop combination is killer for this application. So I'm really, really pleased with, uh, with what I found here. So if we stack it all up on the scale, then we are um, at a total weight of, hang on. Yeah, so 16.33 grams. So that's that's the entire weight of all our electronic components. And again, that's not entirely true because we do need a couple of wires for connecting the ESC and the RX and also some motor screws and so on. But still really, really lightweight. All right, let's have a look at the 3D printed parts. First one, this is the, um, the motor mount, which also has uh, Landing gear, rooms for wheels. Um, I've designed all the pieces in Tinkercad. I really like that. It's free, easy to use, practically no learning curve. Um, I've sliced the parts in Cura and printed them on a Creality Ender 3 version 2. This piece here is by far the one that I've iter iterated over the most 
because the motor piece or the motor part here is um, is a bit tricky because on this end this is where the screws go in and the screws are so small that the screw heads actually go inside the piece on the other end i just have the threaded part um, coming out of these uh, holes here and entering um, the motors the motor the um, on this end here we have the square hole for the fuselage but on this side it is round because i had to account for the rotating part of the motor so i didn't want it to to grind against i needed to 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 make sure that it could run freely without touching the pla so 2.63 grams the next piece which was probably hard to see before is the servo mount and battery mount combined into one yeah not much to say um then we have the first part of the wing mount this is um, for the leading edge and this is for securing the rubber bands that secures yeah, the wing to uh, to the rest of the plane this is for the trailing edge this is also where i have the the, the, the guides for the push rods so they don't flex too much and again for rubber bands then we come to the smallest piece i've had to design and print this one and this is for securing the front of the tail to the fuselage. The last piece for securing the, the back end of the tail uh, to the fuselage, but also for uh, having a small wheel. So the total weight of all the 3D printed parts, if we look, combine it, we're looking at, yeah, just short of five and a half grams. So very, very little. All right, guys, that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it interesting. Um, if so, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video where I'll be using the 0603. Cheers.